It's always a challenge to make a curved object like this, so let's give it a shot. I'm sure you'll feel proud of yourself at the end of this video. Shift A to add a plane. Move it up and rotate in edit mode. Click auto mirror button. It's important to think about the base shape of the object and start simple. You definitely don't want to go overboard from the beginning with lot of verts to pull. It might make you pluck your hair out in the middle of the night and we don't want that, do we? You have to move the verts from front and side view to shape the chair. Let's extrude the side arm area. Extrude again and make sure you have Auto Merge Vertices button ticked. It's time to add some loop cuts. Add a subsurf modifier and shade smooth before adding more loop cuts. You have to check the shape frequently because it changes when you add loop cuts. Remember hitting G twice will slide your verts. You don't want any weird bumps on your curvy object. When you're satisfied, add a solidify modifier and move it above the subsurf. Adjust thickness and apply the solidify modifier. Here's an important step. In X-ray mode, you can see there are faces in the middle area. You don't want that because that can result in shading issues and weird outcome, so let's delete them. Let's make sure our mirror will work peachy. Uncheck clipping, move verts to the right, turn on clipping again and move them to the center. Fine tuning once again. Time for the legs. Let's add a single vert and extrude. We need to position it from the side view. Convert to curve and increase bevel depth. Press Alt-S in edit mode to scale.
Repeat the process for the back leg. Select both legs and convert to mesh again. Select the bottom loops for both legs in edit mode and press Ctrl B to bevel. Add a mirror modifier to both legs. Let's add a cube to make the seat cushion. Add a subsurf, add some loop cuts, and use proportional editing. The same process applies to the back cushion as well. How was this tutorial? Did you enjoy making the chair? Please subscribe and leave a like to support my channel if you think my videos are helpful. I've also put the chair reference image link in the description. Thank you and see you soon.